Hello everyone. Welcome to Achiever Chai's classes. Let's begin our discussion on the current events of 6th November 2018. The first issue in news is an editorial regarding the sacrifice of Indian soldiers in the world war. World over, particularly in European countries, the contributions and sacrifice of millions of Indian soldiers has been recognized, be it the celebrations of Armistice Day in France or the National War Memorial which was conducted in Belgium. Thousands of Indian soldiers of undivided India fought along with the allies and many of them even won the Victoria Cross for their outstanding bravery and their crucial role in the war across continents. The sacrifice of these soldiers is also reflected in various documents housed in the British Library which includes the details of the inhuman treatment, denial of home leave, racial discriminatory treatment etc which the Indian troops had to face under the colonial rule. The lessons learned from the experience of World War I gave rise to entirely different outcomes like the Quit India Movement and the escalation of the Freedom Movement. The World War I also influenced the post-colonial government like the ideals of non-alignment policy which was the cornerstone of the country's foreign policy. This can also be seen in the various peacekeeping operations India is involved in but the role played by these peacekeeping soldiers is entirely different from the Indian soldiers who participated in the world war as the independent nation would never put them in such a situation as they had to face during the world war. The next issue in news is regarding Operation Greens. Operation Greens was announced in the budget speech of 2018-19 with an initial outlay of rupees 500 crores with a focus on three crops that is tomato, onion and potato. The major objectives of Operation Greens are enhancing the value realization of these crops to strengthen the production clusters and the linkages to the market, price stabilization, reduction in post-harvest losses and finally setting up of a market intelligence network to collect and collate real-time data on demand and supply of these three crops. In this regard, the Ministry of Food Processing Industries has recently issued guidelines for implementation of the Operation Greens. The next issue news is regarding the Udan scheme. The Udan scheme, which stands for Ude Deshka Am Nagrik, has various components and is aimed at improving connectivity and promote air travel. Under the Regional Connectivity Scheme, the government has encouraged no frills airport, capping of airfare and various other measures. Under the recent steps, the government plans to introduce seaplanes for various tourist destinations in order to connect certain selected destinations under the regional connectivity scheme. The government proposal includes various places like Bodhgaya, Varanasi, Agra and even the recently unveiled Statue of Unity at the Sardar Sarovar Dam. With that, let's move on to the next issue which is regarding the nuclear policy and nuclear capabilities of India. India's stated position is of no first use policy which means it will only use its nuclear weapons only if it were to be first attacked by nuclear weapons. Therefore, the submarine platform is most dependable for its second strike capabilities and recently India has declared that its nuclear triad is operational which means it now has the capabilities to launch nuclear weapons from land, water and air. It has stated that INS Arihant, which is the indigenous ballistic missile nuclear submarine, has successfully conducted its first deterrence patrol, thereby enhancing India's military preparedness. The nuclear submarine, which is powered by the nuclear reactor, can stay under water indefinitely and is powered by the pressurized light water reactor with enriched uranium. The second submarine in this series, which is named as Arighat, is also undergoing sea trials after which it will be inducted into service. The final issue in news today is regarding the temporary exemptions given to eight countries from the application of US sanctions on Iran. India is one among these eight countries and the others include China, Greece, Italy, Turkey, etc. These countries have been exempted from US sanctions as they have demonstrated significant reductions 
on the purchase of Iranian crude oil over the past six months. This is significant because China and India are the top two importers of Iranian oil and it was feared that India would face US sanctions post its withdrawal from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or the Iran nuclear deal. These sanctions will deeply hurt Iran as all payments for Iranian oil will be held in foreign accounts which can only be used to purchase non-sanctioned goods such as food, medicines, medical devices, etc. Many countries and even the European Union have expressed displeasure over the unilateral actions of the US to impose sanctions on Iran and its withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal. We will further look into this issue based on the future developments but for now, I am wrapping up today's news analysis. Do like, share and comment to support this initiative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. On that note, I am wrapping up today's news analysis. Do like, share and comment to support this initiative. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.